So guys, without wasting much of your time, I just want you to see and prepare for your term two as you are having your mathematics. This is important for your mathematics grade nine. Uh, that is for our 2025 uh, ATP, working with the topics that we are supposed to be preparing for our term two. So in this case, guys, these are the topics that we are going to be working with uh, in our preparations, algebraic expressions, equations, functions and relationships, the graphs, and the revision at the end where we are going to be having our June exam. So guys, as we have this, the formal assessment task investigation and be administrator and uh, investigation, uh, so administer an investigation on any one of the term two topics before teaching it. So you are going to be given that assessment task and investigation to administer an investigation of on any one of what the term two topics before teaching it, before they teach you, before they teach you guys. So it means there's no time for holiday. There's no time for holiday. There's no time for holiday, guys. You'll be given an assessment, a task, before they teach you to see. So there's no holiday. Term two topics, they have to be done now. So lucky enough, guys, we've got these topics on this channel. So make sure that you go through your term two topics because they said anyone, we do not know which one of these topics are they going to give you on that task that you're going to have. All right. So after that, the first topic that we are going to be working with on our term two is the algebraic expressions. The algebraic expressions, which is a continuation from our mathematics uh, that we had in grade eight. It's a continuation, but this time it's now extended, whereby you must be able to factorize algebraic expressions, to factorize which or that has the common factors, the difference of two squares, the trinomials of the form. So you must be able to work with this type of a trinomial or this type where A is a common factor. All right? So we're going to talk about those typical questions in your revisions. You must be able to be to, to factorize those in your algebraic expressions. Simplify algebraic expressions that involve the above factorization processes. Still, the factorization is there. But now we have to simplify in as much as we can. Simplify algebraic expressions using what? Factorization again. Guys, 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 guys. You must revise your factorization. Know your factorization. You see, it is the major part that you're going to be having there on your algebra. It's the major, major part. There, it is the major part, factorization. All right, we move on to the algebraic equations. As you are working with algebraic equations, make sure that you're going to revise the following activity on revised skills. All right? Set up equations to describe problem situations. Analyze and interpret equations that describe a given situation to solve equations by inspection. By, by looking into the question, you must tell us the answer by inspection, by just looking into the question. You don't need to solve it. Eh, this 2x is minus this is equal to... No, no, no. You look into the question and you say, okay, the answer is 4. The answer there is 3. The answer there is by inspection. You must be able to do that. Using additive and multiplicative inverses. Using 
laws of exponents. To solve equations by what? Substitution. Use substitution in equations to generate tables and of order pairs. Extend solving equations to include using factorization equations in the form a product of factors is equal to zero. You must be able to solve a condition where the product of two factors is equal to zero. They can be two, they can be three, but you must be having a product being equal to zero. So like I said, guys, all these term two topics are already there. So on our channel, make sure that you go through uh, the term two topics where you see that you do not understand or it is not enough. The comment section is there. Let us communicate on the comment section. Uh, come to my WhatsApp. With those questions, I work them uh, together uh, on what? On YouTube, we come back here to work them, uh, those questions together. So if you have got those questions, bring them, guys. Let's, let us do those questions together. All right. Topic three, functions and relationships. You must be able to be working with input and output values. Determine Input values, output values, rules for patterns and relationships using what? Flow diagrams, tables, formula, equations. You must be able to do that with any one of these. Then you must be able to work with the equivalent form, uh, forms, the equivalent forms to determine, interpret, and justify equivalence of different descriptions of the same relationship or rule presented verbally in form uh, in flow diagrams in tables by formula by equations by graphs on a cartesian plan you must be able to have that equivalent form so go through uh, these topics as you are preparing. There's no time to close the book. No, 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 no. This is not that type of holiday. This is not December, guys. This is not that type of, of holiday. This one, it's a preparation holiday. You don't close books. You prepare for another topic on that holiday. It's called a preparation. It's, it's a phase of preparation, more preparation. It's a phase of more preparation. All right, the last part is going to be on the graphs. You must be able to interpret graphs. That is the interpreting of graphs. Make sure that you go through the interpreting of graphs. Drawing of graphs also. All right, make sure that you go through each and every section of your graphs. And the last part is going to be the revision that you are going to be working with before your June exam. Did they even list those uh, that part here? All right. So it's unfortunate on this PDF uh, that I'm using, they did not list that one. All right. But anyways, on the last part there, after the revision, you are going to be having your June exam. And that June exam, it covers, it covers all... It covers all term one and term two topics. Term one and term two topics. All, not some of them, but all of them that you did in term one. So go back to your term one. Go back to your term one. Revise everything. You see, that, that is what I was saying. This is not a, a sleeping holiday. This is not a sleeping holiday. No, this is not a, a holiday for, for closing books. It's a holiday for more preparation without a teacher. They're saying without a teacher, can you go and prepare yourselves? That is what they're saying. They're not saying go and sleep. No, go and prepare yourselves more so that when you come back, we are just adding information adding information to you. So, don't go to class empty 
empty handed to to say you don't even know about that topic that it's it's your first time you are hearing that for the first time guys that is why we are having this youtube to you go through these topics before go through these topics before where you do or not understand you have my whatsapp come to me let's con let's communicate so that i have those questions done for you uh the comment section also is there communicate on the comment section let me know what is it that you are not understanding so that I can find ways of making you understand that part? You will understand mathematics. You will understand it. Ah, that one you understand, guys. No matter what, you understand. Whether you do not want, here you understand it. As long as you are using this platform, you will understand it. So do not just use the effort that is coming from us only, but also as an individual, put some effort, write your notes, do more questions, do more activities. Where you do not understand, come to my WhatsApp, say I was doing this question, I don't understand this part. You see, to show also as a student, you are following, you are moving together. We are moving together. Don't close your books this holiday. It's not for that. It's not December. All right. So this is it, guys. Let us prepare for our mathematics grade nine, term two. Uh, as it is term two, don't remember. Term one is still considered. So never say I'm done with term one. These topics I'm done. No. Put in mind everything that we did in term one. So this is it, guys. Till we meet again.